Thank you all for coming. I'd like to welcome you to this auction session uh, featuring the Buddy Holly memorabilia that most of you are here for tonight. I'm Greg Rowan. I'm the president of Heritage Auction Galleries. And on behalf of the 300 worldwide members of the Heritage family, I'd like to welcome you and thank you and tell you how much we appreciate your personal attendance here. We have a number of guests here who came all the way from Great Britain. There's quite a large contingent of you, and we especially appreciate the effort that you've made to be here tonight. Thank you very much. I'm going to turn the microphone over now to Doug Norwine. Doug has worked with Maria Elena and put this auction together, and without him, none of this would have been possible. So without further ado, Doug Norwine, thank you very much. Welcome to Session 3, Thank you very much. Listen, it, this has been a wonderful two-day auction event. We, we've made some new friends. We, we've uh, rekindled friendships with old friends, and uh, it's been very thrilling. And uh, it's all because of you that uh, we get to do these kinds of things. So I'm going to present one of my favorite friends and a, and a great auctioneer and a great guy, Sam Foose. Without further ado, to kick this session three off, the wonderful Buddy Holly memorabilia. And Maria Elena, we love you. A heritage auction is never an ordinary auction. It's an event. When Heritage conducts an auction sale, people from all over the country and the world converge on Dallas, Texas to attend these historic, exciting events. 12, 13, 14. When Buddy Holly's widow, Maria Elena, decided to sell her collection of Buddy Holly memorabilia, she chose Heritage. She decided to allow fans and collectors the opportunity to share in the nostalgia from the 1950s when rock was king. I'm glad to see some of the people coming from London and Canada and uh, see old friends. So that's uh, very exciting for me also. Maria Elena chose Heritage Auction Galleries to offer these treasures from her personal collection because of the Heritage commitment to quality and world-class presentation. 130000 twice sold $130,000. She knew that Heritage would get the word out in this event and their great publicity and marketing. In fact, this auction made world news before, during, and after the auction was over. You only sell a collection of this magnitude once, and Maria Elena Holly knew that Heritage would make it count. Well, this auction went terrific. It's very exciting, and uh, I'm so happy that Heritage was so kind as to take my uh, things uh, belongs to Buddy, and this is a fantastic uh, place to do business with. To kick off the event, Johnny Rogers, a Buddy Holly performer, came and entertained the crowd. Tommy Alsop, who was part of Buddy Holly's band in the 1950s, played guitar along with him. Tommy came to honor Maria Elena by playing a final farewell to his dear friend, Buddy Holly. You see, Tommy was scheduled to be on that fateful plane flight with Buddy, but after losing a coin toss, Richie Valens went instead. The plane crashed, and Valens, J.P. Richardson, the Big Bopper, and Holly were forever immortalized on February 3rd, 1959, known as the day the music died. Doug Norwine, Director of Music and Entertainment Memorabilia for Heritage, joined in the performance and played his saxophone upon Maria Elena's personal request. Doug's credentials as a Los Angeles and Hollywood studio musician go back 30 years. Doug is a lifelong collector of entertainment items himself, bringing the perfect blend of passion and knowledge to help collectors. When it's time to sell your collection, Heritage offers the best talent in the business. What an auction event it was, and we are thrilled to have shown you some highlights. Next time, be there in person and join in the fun and excitement firsthand. We promise to make you feel welcome. 
Find out why Heritage Auction Galleries is the world's largest and most respected collectibles auctioneer.